Hey, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric, and it's been a while since I kind of updated you guys on what we've been working on. Cause we've been kind of busy doing this and that and trying to get the hay done for the home farms. But I thought today well, let's do a walk around and I'll show you what we got going on. Here's Here's a John Deere 401B. It came in because I had hydraulic issues. It wouldn't do anything. And it ended up being the transmission pump that is located right in here. But we had to split into three sections because the pilot bearing had gone here and it wouldn't let go. So we had to get into there anyways. So this is all buttoned up. We still got to put the you know guards in place and foot pegs and then this one can go home this one is mine this is a john deere 820 she's been running really good but claude was raking with it and he said that he lost all transmission that and you know it's yeah, I don't know whether we sheared maybe a rear axle on it, but the only good thing is, is I've got a donor, it's a 1020, it's got the same rear end that if we need the parts, we can get that and get it in and get it out. Right here is a 7085 Deutz, this is mine. We need to do a, a head gasket on one. We need to do an exhaust gasket over here on here because it's blowing up into there so we've got to tear that apart and I'm debating whether to replace the turbo on it or not I've got a guy up PA that's all he does is just doits and he's got a yard full of them so whenever I need parts I just give him a shout and he gets them for me We've got a Honda Foreman. Just got the starter in for it. And that'll be going back in. I've already started the tear down on it. In that, you know, took the battery out and stuff. This is gonna have to come out. The starter's down in there. So, need to do that yet. Oh. Then we got this. This is the tractor. I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but this tractor is a John Deere 4000. And <clears throat> from what we can understand, there's only 200 of them that were made in the U.S. That's how rare they are. So it's a privilege for us to work on it, you know, getting to see this kind of thing because there's not that many out there. But also comes... Uh, nervousness of can we get parts you know and the good thing is it's not too serious is that they've taken good care of it so and the main reason it's in is they like to have the brakes fixed on it and when it comes to the brakes that means we have to take this whole section here out get it about that far out from the tractor and then there's pads in there we can just replace the pads and then slide it back in and do the same thing for this side we're probably going to have to use that in the loader because those are weighted they're fluid filled calcium chloride because it has a loader with it he also said this port was leaking a little bit we can check that see if it needs o-rings he wants all the filters changed on it, hydraulic, drained, all new hydraulic fluid. Uh, yeah, I'd say the fuel filter needs to be changed. <laughs> but it's a neat old tractor, you know. 
He said that him his dad had bought it brand new on the farm, and when they quit farming it, his dad gave it to him because he loved this tractor. He spent so many hours on it, just in the fields, doing field work. And they painted it themselves, and I think it did a pretty good job. I mean, it's a, what, what I call a daily driver. It, you know, the fender, they pass with fiberglass and this and that. But it, it, it meets their purpose. It's not a show tractor. It's not something that you're going to take to the county fair, you know. Anyway, so that brings us inside. We got a Troy built. And it's not sounding good. Not looking good. The customer is not going to be happy. We have zero compression. No matter what we do with the valves, we can't get it to build compression. So all I can figure is that this was so caked with just crap that they cooked, they got that thing so hot that it cooked the rings. Is all I can figure. Or is she just worn out? So I've got one that I have for sale, a used one. She wants to get into that. So we're going to take the battery out of this, put it in the other one. And then do the deal on that. And then this one will just be a donor tractor parked here. Because it's not worth fixing the engine. But if we get one comes in that needs an engine or has an engine, then. Then we'll come to the Kubota. The Kubota came in. It was having a rear main seal leaking oil. Split it. Replaced the rear seal. He wanted us to check the clutch fresh plate over there. They, that looked good. And we ended up, he brought it with nothing, with these cap that goes to the loader. And if you look right here, this is the hydraulic pump. And when we started it up, it actually blew. There was a hairline crack in that, the old pump that it blew it right in half. So we end up ordering a new one, Chinese. We had to do some heating and bending. You know, nothing ever goes perfect with a Chinese aftermarket crap. If you are into this kind of stuff, just keep in mind that you are going to have to do some fabrication. It Nothing ever is going to fit perfectly. So you have to start, it's either that or go OEM. That's all I can tell you. This here is a Farmall Cub. And said he could get it started, but it raced with the governor would go right full throttle. When it came here, Claude couldn't get it to fire on carb cleaner. So I asked Claude, did you try to see what the compression is on the engine? And he said, no. He said, they said they had it running. I said, do a compression check. He ended up having 70 pounds here, zero, zero, and 65. So the old trick we use, if it's been sitting a while, put some PB blaster in there, let it sit for a few days. He's now got these up to around 55. And I think once we can get it started and keep it running, the valves will start coming back into place. They were stuck. But that's what we got going on, other than I just got done taking care of all the auction stuff that I bought last week, getting that put away. So on that note, I just figured, hey, why not let you guys see what we're working on on a daily basis and what's keeping the bread and butter coming into our shop. All right, guys, you guys have a great day and I'll catch you on the next video.